it looks like you're voting for the personal statement, so I'll get that ready. Um, I've got a little bit of while. This is going to be incredibly cringe. Um, it, it's not. It's not going to be great. Um, here goes. So disclaimers. <laughs> this is my personal statement um, from UCAS. Um, I saved a copy of it. It's from 2009. Um, it's. It's not. It's not very brilliantly written. Um, we're going to react to it as we go through. Um, things you need to know about me. Um, when I was in school, I was extremely keen about maths. That's pretty obvious. Um, I was also probably too confident. Um, and so uh, that th this, this is, is oh. I've grown a lot since then, but we're going to do this. Okay, right. You ready? Um, so it starts, mathematics is at the centre of everything in my life which is such a cringy start. I wish it didn't start like that. That's a full stop. That's a full sentence. Maths is at the centre of everything in my life. I wish I didn't say that. Oh well. Um, so that's, that's a dramatic start, I'd say. Do not recommend this. Um, whether I'm in the classroom or at home, I'm always trying to prove a theorem, work through a problem, or just solve a puzzle. I, I like doing maths puzzles, and that's, that's, um, I'm fine with that. Um, that stood up to time. Uh, I like to prove mathematical facts for myself, and I'm currently working on a proof that a hanging chain forms a Koch curve using techniques I learnt while teaching myself mechanics units. Okay, so this question, this sentence is trying to do quite a lot. Um, this is trying to say I like to uh, I like mathematical proof. Um, I'm working on a proof. I think is an excellent structure. I'm currently working on a proof means I don't know why this is true. I was hoping to maybe have proved this or worked on this in time to write my personal statement, but I haven't. So I'm, I'm currently working on a proof, guys. Um, I'm still currently working on a proof that a hanging chain forms a Koch curve. I don't know where I got that fact from. I think it's a fact. I think it's true. Um, anyway, uh, and I've been reading mechanics textbooks because I'm a nerd like that. I've been reading textbooks. Um, I also like to solve mathematical puzzles as rigorously as I can. And so I'm working on a proof that a pair of dice labelled 122334 and 134568 is the only pair of six-sided dice other than the standard six-sided dice, for which you have a 1 in 36 chance of rolling a 2, a 1 in 18 chance of rolling a 3, and so on, as for normal dice. Two things to say about that sentence. Um, firstly, well, <laughs> there it is again, I'm working on a proof. Um, I was really proud of finding these dice. Um, I thought I, it was a, a puzzle that I came up with myself and I thought about um, trying to solve and I found it has an interesting solution. So it was all, all very nice. Um, I made you do it as a bonus problem a couple of weeks ago. That problem's from my personal statement. So there you go. Power move. Um, okay, right, next sentence. We're doing this one sentence at a time. Um, recently in my spare time, I've worked through the first chapter of, and then it's a book name, RBJT Allaby's Rings, Fields and Groups to gain an insight into the form of a mathematical proof and to challenge myself with concepts that I was unlikely to meet inside my mathematics syllabus. Um, so this, this says I'm trying to read a book, but it's not going very well. Um, I think I found a maths book in, oh gosh, school library or like a library or something. And this is just a random maths book. Um, I can't remember what's in the first chapter of this book. I've worked through the first chapter. It means I've steadily looked at some maths book. Um, and I'll tell you now, I did, don't think I really understood what was in the maths book that well at all. Um, okay, it keeps going. Um, we now have a sentence that's kind of a review of th this book based on the first chapter. I was particularly interested, says James from 2009, I was particularly interested in the, care, um, in the care taken in mathematical proofs. For example, when mapping members of Q of X to members of Q. That's a random thing from the book. Um, mm. This inspired me to attempt an att extension of some of the proofs given in the first chapter to other sets of numbers, such as the H numbers. And there's that weasel phrase again, attempt a proof. Um, attempt an extension this time. Um, once again, I'm trying to do some maths, but nothing to report. Um, and H numbers, I honestly, this day, can't tell you what an H number is. Um, goodness knows. I imagine it's in the first chapter of that book. Um, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Worked on a proof. There we go. Um, okay. Over my summer holidays, I wanted to achieve something constructive, says 17-year-old James. Um, so I taught myself two mathematics units to examination standard. 
Was it examination standard, James? Was it? What does that mean? Um, M2 and M3, which included topics such as circular motion with variable speed, simple harmonic motions, and impulse in two dimensions. And so here I've said, I've read that mechanics textbook. I'm trying to trying to mention that mechanics textbook again. Um, I really like math and physics, so I looked at a mechanics textbook. Um, and I've listed some topics from mechanics, which is silly. It's just using up words on explaining what's in maths units. Um, I also read material from M4, says James happily. I, I read some material from M4, but notice how this is excluded from the two examination standards claim. Um, I also read material from M4 and FP2 to learn further mechanics and integration techniques uh, to help with my study. For general interest, I also looked at topics from FP3. I found this other textbook and I looked at it. Um, I looked at it, particularly the chapters on step three. Um, okay, um, gear change. Um, that's me listing some books I've looked at. Um, I've, I've looked at pretty nerdy maths books. Um, cool, right, cool. Um, for general interest, oh no, hang on, where are we? Um, I'm interested in mathematics education, says James, brightly changing gear. Um, and so I've been helping teach mathematics at a local, local primary school, as well as mentoring a year seven student at school, helping to train the junior team challenge team, and volunteering at the Royal Institute once a month, explaining science and maths topics to members of the public. From this, I've gained confidence and experience in communicating and explaining what I know, and I feel that I've demonstrated my ability to commit to a task. Um, I actually quite like this pair of sentences because it shows that 17-year-old James, not, not for admissions or anything, but it shows that 17-year-old James was interested in communicating about maths, which is now what I do as a job. So that's quite nice to see. Well done, 17-year-old James. Um, from the right, okay. My exam results reflect my interest in all areas of mathematics with uh, with UMS scores over 90 in all my AS modules. There we go. Does that make any difference? I don't know. Um, I not um, they, AS modules aren't even a thing anymore. So there we go. Um, I haven't found anything covered this year very difficult. Uh, humble brag. Um, but I did enjoy studying mathematical induction as it introduces the concept of mathematical proof and because its applications to problems are highly varied. Okay, um, so I'm trying to mention a thing I like again from my, from, from maths in school. Um, in the last few years, I've taken part in six maths challenges and three intermediate Olympi Olympiads, and I've sat the BMO twice. In 2009, I performed well enough in BMO2 to qualify for the UKMT initial training camp held in Oxford. This taught me problem solving techniques and let me st study mathematical topics, which are part of my syllabus, such as geometry and functional equations. Um, so I was lucky enough to go to some UKMT, uh, UKMT maths camps. I think I mentioned a couple here um, for doing math challenge stuff, which was great fun. Um, none of the maths on those camps was relevant to university maths. Um, I mentioned geometry, none of that geometry came back again, and functional equations, which is basically like the functions we've been talking about before. Um, okay. Um, I also enjoyed being part of a community of mathematicians, which gave me a chance to talk to other people about mathematics from school and outside of school. Here's my favourite paragraph at the end. Um, outside of mathematics, I realise I've got to, I've got, I've got one sent two sentences to go, and I have only talked about mathematics. So this is a sentence that starts outside of mathematics. I also play the clarinet in the school's wind band and sing in the chamber choir, and I've recently started a juggling club. Extracurricular? <laughs> Anyone? Um, that's my sole concession to non-mathematical activities. Um, overall, I feel that I'm well suited to studying mathematics at university, so I have the talent and enthusiasm necessary for such an intellectually demanding course. That's the end of my personal statement. Gosh, um, it's very intense. Um, I, I think my main thing that I learned over the last 10 years since I wrote this is I learned to calm down a bit. Um, this is pretty full on of I looked at a textbook once and I tried to prove a thing um, and that enthusiasm really helped me at university. Um, I think it's important to follow up this reading my personal statement by talking about how personal statements work in applications. Um, for mathematics, I think a lot of personal statements look a bit like this one, that people are interested in maths, um, people are interested in um, bits of maths, maybe talk about your favourite bits of maths, uh, maybe try and prove stuff. I'm lucky that I had the chance to do some UKMT stuff as well, which was great fun, um, meant that I got a sentence in there to just list some UKMT stuff. Um, but now that I've seen a lot of personal statements from applicants, um, so uh, the way Oxford works is your personal statement goes to tutors at um, the college you've applied to, um, but also the admissions coordinator, which is me, I get to see everything. Um, so I've seen thousands of personal statements now, and 
most personal gamers say pretty much the same hit you could summarize them with the same bullet points but i like maths i'm good at maths i'm looking forward to doing three years of maths and i like trying to solve problems and i think maths is really interesting and i like how maths is true um there's a lot of repeated themes in there and that means that it's basically impossible to separate people um especially at the level of oxford applicants based on their personal statements um that we it's the main reason that we get used to the maths admissions test and if you do um, well on everything together then we invite people to interview and we do some maths problems there as well that's a lot of maths that's much more interesting to us than um how you write your personal statement okay 